What's going on, YouTube? Um, people on Twitter, we're going to have to have a chat. Uh, especially people like Dominique Sky and that stupid cosplaying bitch that's an idiot. That uh, sitting there talks about Vic Mignogna being a pedo and all this dumb shit she's talking about. Because she's, she's a dumb person and I just think she's very fucking stupid. And she's a hypocrite. And uh, she's also really chummy with Christopher Sabat. And I'm pretty sure him and her had a little like extramarital affair. Pretty sure. I, I'm not. I'm not totally sure. Like I can't prove it. There's probably somebody that can. Uh, I don't have a lot of equipment like laptop or even a desktop computer, so I can't pull up stuff like most people can to make my videos. I just make it on my phone because I don't have a whole lot of money right now. I just work a minimum wage job, I have a little 10 year old son and I try to take care of him and I try to have common sense and live my life as an honorable uh, man and treat uh, mo uh, treat like women like I would, you know, like honorable and nice and I try to be good to them and I try to, you know, uh, find love and try to get married to a woman. Uh, but I haven't had much luck with that yet. Hopefully I will one day. I, I just kind of want a wife. Here's the thing. I want to get married and stay married until the day I die. I don't want to get divorced. The, the mother of my child, me and her, had a bad falling out because of uh, some stuff I did. And she wasn't no, you know, we wasn't good to each other. Uh, we were really young, and we had a baby really, you know, fast, and it was just a lot of hitting on us at once, and that kind of just destroyed our relationship. It was just too much at one time, and plus, I was hopelessly addicted to opioids then, and I just couldn't break that chain of addiction at that time. I've almost been two years clean now, on, I'm, well, I'm on the methadone program, but I'm, I'm doing good, I don't take nothing but methadone. I can. I have a job now. I've been working, and everything's going good. It's going good. But enough about me. I'm. I don't like talking about me too much. I'm kind of a modest man. If anybody wants to talk about me and ask me any questions, I'm. I'll try to be as honest as I can. I will be as honest as I can. I don't want to lie about myself because I'm not no angel. I've made mistakes. I've done bad things in my life. I'm not really no criminal, but I've been to jail a few times for drug possession and things like that. So I've, I've, I've been in jail. I know how, that, how hard it is to be in jail and things like that. But Dominique Sky, this woman that's talking about believe victims and... And if you, you gotta have consent to hug somebody and do all this shit that she talks about. And, um, she's this cosplayer woman. I don't think she's really a fan of any kind of anime or video games or anything. She's, she thinks she's hot shit. So she dresses up in all these, uh, little anime clothes and anime characters and video game characters with really tight skirt, little tight outfits and really tight leather with, of course, her titties hanging out because she's got huge tits because she's probably had a boob job because she wants to strut her shit like a big hot bitch she thinks she is. Um, but it's like... Yeah, I want you to look and give me money and think I'm sexy and hot and everything, but don't compliment me on my looks. Don't 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 look at my titties even though I got them in your face. Don't look at my ass even though my even though my pants are so tight you can see the you can see my pussy lips. You know, don't I don't I want you to just I, it's there, but I want you to mention it or look at it. It's like you're going around nerds, okay? Horny nerds that don't have girlfriends very much. And then you're talking about how perverted and deviant they are. And how bad and how rapey they are. And that they're so sexist and rapist and all this bunch of bullshit. You're a stupid bitch, Dominique Sky, And all you fuckers on Twitter, that white knight for her dumb ass. She fucking... Fuck Christopher Sabat. I'm pretty sure she fucked Christopher Sabat. If she didn't, I highly doubt she didn't. Uh, she seems like a 
like a whore to me. Uh, I don't know why she just don't do porn. I, don't, I think she's like, I think she would do porn if porn wasn't kind of dangerous, because porn is kind of dangerous. The fans are very touchy feely in porn, and they're and they're very aggressive. Some of them are, not all of them, and uh, but there's a lot of weirdos that like watching porn all the time. They're very weirdo, creepy dudes, and I think she thought she could handle the nerd crowd, cause most nerds, if they get too touchy feely, all you gotta do is like go, hey, hey, no, like a dog, you know, just scream at them real loud, and they'll back up off and maybe even cry. She could probably get, get some of them to cry because they are, most of them are very sensitive men. Uh, they ain't good with women, they ain't good with people in general because they're nerdy. You know, they're antisocial, they, they have emotional issues because they've been outcast most of their lives and pin picked on because they you know they're clumsy they ain't got good coordination skills they ain't good at sports you know they probably had bad acne or buck teeth or you know because they like dungeons and dragons and weird things that most normal people don't like but they're really nice and sweet people for the most part and they're very good people and they don't deserve to be infiltrated by some stupid bitch that doesn't believe in nothing that science fiction and fantasy and all these things stand for like honor and goodness and trying to be a good person and trying to help people and, and doing the right thing and making the world a better place and sticking up for the weak and things like that she just wants your money that's all a lot of these people want. A lot of these cosplayers just want your money. They think they're hot shit and they think they deserve money because they look good in a little outfit. That's what she does. She talks about all this consent shit and all this bullshit that never used to be a problem. It never used to be a problem to hug somebody and kiss them on the cheek and be friendly with somebody that, you know that you would call a friend that was a woman. You could hug her, and it wasn't a big deal. And if she didn't like it, she'd say, Hey, you mind not hugging me so much? It makes me feel bad. And be like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not know that. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you told me. You know, they don't want to tell you shit nowadays. What they want to do is let you do it, let you do it, let you do it. And then it's like, Take pictures, take pictures of it, and it's like, see how uncomfortable I look in these pictures? See how uncomfortable I am? And he keeps doing this to me. And it's like, but you didn't tell him to stop. What, what, did you tell him to stop? Well, not really, but he should have known by the look on my face whether she, you know, and she's got like a little smile on her face, like, like, you know, kind of like that, like, it's a, it's all right. It's not that big a deal. Uh, but it's like, oh, after you know, after a while, it's like, ah, I can be a victim from this. I can get attention and probably money that I didn't deserve because I got a pussy. So I'm going to do this. And not, some people might think I hate women. I don't hate women. I just think women are to be held to the same standard as a man. You know. Don't be agging guys on if you have no interest in them. Don't lead them on and take money and presents from them if you don't intend on uh, being with them or having sex with them or anything like that. Especially when you know that's what they're trying to do with you. They're trying, you know, you if they're buying you expensive presents, taking you to lunch, you know, dinner, buying all these things for you, you should know they want a relationship with you. They want to be your boyfriend. They want to be your man. They want to have sex and make love to you. They want to be in love with you is what they want. And that would be their dream come true to have a woman like you. Even if you pity fucked them one time, they would have your back until they died. You just don't understand how much power you have over those guys. I think you do. That's why you do this kind of petty shit to them. And, uh, and the way Dominic Sky talks about consent, it's so fucking awkward and cringy. It's like, pretty much like you should have, like, every little thing you do or to her, you, you should have to ask her, is it okay if I touch you on the shoulder? 
Is it okay if I pat you on the back? Is it okay if I give you a side friend hug? Is it okay? Oops, I accidentally touched your hand. Please don't sue me. Please don't put a restraining order on me. Please don't get the Twitter mob on me. You know? Because if you bump her hand on accident or bump into her on accident, maybe accidentally touch her tit. Like, you know, you're walking, talking with your friend. You got your hand out like this, talking, like telling a story or something. And you, boom, bump into her and your hand like creases her boob on accident. You're se you sexually assaulted her, you son of a bitch sexist. You rapist, you. You know, even though you apologize and tell her you're so sorry you didn't mean to do that. And she probably knows deep down you didn't mean to do that. You're a rapist, homo. You're a rapist, sexist. You hate women. It's like, no. I want you to, I want you women to quit. Like most, I don't want all you SJW women to stop being fucking stupid. You know better than this shit. This hurts people really bad when women act like this. And women want to act, want to know why they're so unhappy and why their lives suck. It's because of shit like this that you do. Well, some of you. I know some women are happily married and everything's hunky-dory with them. But a lot of you, like liberal women, this is why you're unhappy. Because you keep on pushing and trying to run over men and men don't know how to act around you. They don't know whether to shit or go blind. They are so scared to do something wrong because nobody wants to be a rapist. It's almost as bad as being called a child molester. Child molester is way, way fucking worse. But a rapist is up there. It's like a close second. It's very bad to be known as a rapist or someone that sexually assaults women. It's very fucking bad. So please, women, have common sense. Hey, well, you leftist women, please have common sense and don't try to ruin guys' lives. And Dominique's guy, you're a stupid bitch snowflake who thinks she's special and you're not. Quit acting like Vic is a monster. Vic is the most good man I have ever seen that's out of that, out of the animated, um, anime voice actors. Vic is probably like an angel compared to all of them. Yes, he has made mistakes. Yes, he's kissed other women and cheated on his fiance, that uh, his ex fiance. That's why they are not together anymore. No man or woman, for that matter, is without any kind of sin or any kind of things they have done wrong. Some things are, you know, some of us haven't done as bad of things as others, but still. You gotta forgive after a while. You gotta love people. See, these leftist crazy fuckers want to talk about how inclusive and how nice and how loving they are and how racially accepting they are and how anti-fascist they are. Well, they're none of those things. They're racist, fascist, sexist, homophobic pieces of trash and shit. They're garbage people. And they need to shut the fuck up. They need to have some common sense and grow the fuck up. You know, maybe they need to be... Maybe a brick needs to fall and hit them in the fucking head. And maybe they need to start being pepper sprayed in the face and pistol whipped and shit like that. I, okay, I'm not really calling for anybody to do anything like that to anybody. I don't believe violence is the answer for most things. But I do think a fist fight solves some problems... When you can't solve it with an argument, sometimes it's just, you just gotta go out and have a fucking fist fight about it. And no guns, no killing anybody. You don't have to kill anybody. That's a pussy move to go get a gun and shoot somebody over an argument or a fist fight. That is the most pussiest, slow down, cowardly shit you can do is to go and shoot somebody over an argument. Or a fist fight. You are a fucking pussy and a coward if you do that. Okay? You are no man. You are low. You are lower than the a bitchy bitch woman. You are the lowest scum sucking piece of shit. You are a Dominique Sky if you do that. And I hate that bitch. And I hate the Twitter mob that follows her. And guys, 
Don't give money to these Twitter thoughts. If you really want to give your money to a woman that takes her clothes off and is naked, go to Vegas. Go to a brothel. Get a prostitute. At least you will be getting something out of it. And you might even get some self-confidence. And maybe the hooker will tell you, uh, teach you how to talk to women better and not come off so creepy. So, that's kind of just what, I know I got off topic and didn't talk about Dominique Sky that much. But it's just basically her bullshit, the way she thinks of consent. Consent was never like that, ever. You didn't never have to ask that much permission from a woman to do every little thing. You didn't have to say, do I have your consent to talk to you? Can I kiss you on the cheek? Can I do this? No, what you used to do is you asked a woman out on a date. Well, you'd go up to her, inter you know, if you didn't know her, you'd go up to her, talk to her, introduce yourself. She'd introduce herself. Y'all talk for a while and get the vibe, and maybe, maybe the vibe was really good. And you'd say, hey, uh, you want to go out Friday night? She'd go, sure. And, uh, well, can I have your phone number and your address? Or, or would you like to meet me at the place? And say, let's go t out to eat at uh, Olive Garden. And uh, she'd go, okay. And I'd be like, okay, uh, you want to meet me there at 5? Yeah, sure. Or, or, hey, can we do it at 6? Here's my number to call me in case something happens. Or uh, in case we need to reschedule or something. Okay, thank you. And then guess what? You'd meet up at Olive Garden, and you'd have dinner, and you'd talk, and then, you know, and, er and then maybe you'd start holding hands, and everything would start getting good. And if it really went well, you'd go home and kind of have some awkwardly bumping heads into each other. You know, bumping heads, kissing, kind of awkward first date, kind of kiss sex stuff. I know I've had that happen to me before, and I know other men and women have had it happen too. You just felt so good about what was going on and the vibe, and maybe you ain't had sex in a while, and you just kind of need to get it, get, get one under your belt, you know, just to feel good for a little bit. You know, that's the part of being human too, just, Having emotions and having feelings and feeling wonderful, beautiful things with another human being and sharing stuff, sharing a connection and love and how things are supposed to be. Not like, oh my God, he brushed up against my arm. Oh my God, I'm going to fucking take him to court and, <coughs> and I'm going to get the cops on his ass and he's going to have so many restraining orders on him. I know people. I'm Dominique fucking Sky, bitch. It's like, no, fuck you, Dominique Sky. You're nothing but a trashy whore. You don't know nobody. You fuck, you probably suck uh, Christopher Sabat's dick. You're nobody fucking special. You're a whore. You're a piece of trash. You're garbage. Fuck you, bitch. Goodbye.